Welcome back everybody. Time for the next 55 lap race. The performance singles, performance twins and unrestricted classes head out on track. Walker, Mason, Ludby, Lewis, George, Shearsmith, Thornton, Coleman, the captain Crashmere, Blackman and Lockie Shearsmith. There is Lockie. Not sure if that cart's quite right, but it sounds all right. Sounds throaty now again. Let's hopefully it's right, because that's unrestricted. And it should be quick. But he is starting from the rear. On we go then. Oh no, we've got one out. Oh, disaster. Looks like George is out of the cart. Is it George? Pretty sure it is. Unfortunately, that cart is playing no further part. Stephen George is out, unfortunately. That's one less for Arnie to try and beat. Well done, Arnie, you got one down. One down, several to go. <laughs> Come on, Arnie. Get the captain up there. Somebody give him a wave. Somebody give Arnie the big hurry up. Let's see what Arnie Kreshmir can do. Here we go then, twins, we're getting us underway. First of all, the green flag is about to be dropped and away we go. We are away in racing. Mason gets the whole shot. Walker will just let him slide it through into the skid pan for the first time. Mason went really quick through the skid pan and through the Wynnum Hall in Chicane. Somehow he was absolutely blasting through there. And Walker thought about following him, but then backed right off. So it is Mason, Walker, Ludwig behind them. Hang on, that's Stephen George. So who, oh, it's 457, sorry. So he didn't even make it onto the timing sheet. So Stephen George did, but the 457, and I forget who it is, I'm going to check to my uh, paper, did not make it out, unfortunately. No dramas, even George, no dramas. He is going. He is up and running, the 451. So it was the 457 who didn't get going. And that was actually uh, Michael George. So Michael, his bro, has uh, unfortunately not gotten going. Stephen, though, is going, you can see. And he's having a crack. And he's got, guess who with him? Sam Lewis. So he's leading the race at the minute. And Sam Lewis, who won the last one, is right on his tail. Let's watch these for a while. Shearsmith again, having trouble in the unrestricted car. Walker's gone to the lead. And now Stephen George can see big trouble looming over his left hand shoulder then over his right hand shoulder and sam lewis is all over him like a rash sam lewis is after this and he wants it stephen oh no walker's gone walker he's retired walker's retired from the lead walker's gone mason now leads it lub is in two and Mark Walker has gone. So the leader has retired. And he's gone. Mark Walker coast to a stop. And there is a problem with the Walker car. Mason leads, Ludby in two. Then behind them, Stephen George still keeps Sam Lewis at bay. Sam Lewis though, all over him like a rash. And I think Lewis, Maybe biding his time. He knows there are 49 more laps in this race to go. Plenty of time to make a move, but does he make it early? Oh, he thought about it then. Showed the nose, still showed the nose, but couldn't get through. Stephen George maintains position. Sam Lewis still on him. Still he's after him. Down their head, through the double apex right-hander. Behind them, guess what? I don't believe it. 
Thornton and Al Shearsmith, medium versus heavy, have once again found each other on track. And once again, the pair of them are battling. Shearsmith has his fast parts, Thornton has his. The question is, who will be there at the end? Arnie Kretschby is also in a cracker. Kretschby is hanging on as the captain. Heads up now, oh, he's been passed. Coleman's gone past him. He's got to get back after him. Come on, Arnie. He's got to try and get back after this as Arnie. On they head. Down into the double apex. It is Mason, Ludby, Lewis, George, Thornton, Shearsmith, Coleman, Kreshmere. Lockie Shearsmith is out. Mark Walker's out. Blackman never got going. And we've had some dramas today. And none bigger than this one. When Mark Walker expected to possibly win this race has pulled out and retired on lap number four. On they continue. Sam Lewis has gone through. Sam Lewis now leads it. He's got it done and leads the mediums. Sam Lewis eventually breaking the spirit of Stephen George and he eventually gets him done. Stephen George's car either sounds really throaty or really bad. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it just doesn't sound quite right to me. Gonna have a listen to it as he comes up the hill. Stephen George's car still just got that little rasp about it. And it's still got the, it's got the kind of like a tiger growl. So I'm not quite sure if something's uh, a drift on the Stephen George car, but it just sounds a little bit second hand and isn't quite right. And he is slowing down slightly. Sam Lewis is not. Sam Lewis, 25.285 and into the 24s has gone Peter Mason and Ludby. Still Thornton, slugging it out with Shearsmith, but now they've got Peter Mason right with them. Mason has got to find a way past them carefully. Can't just blast, he's got to be careful. Gets one done. Now he's got Thornton, goes past Thornton. On he continues. Down into the skid pad. Thornton and Shearsmith once again slugging it out. Lugby is now behind the pair of them. I think that will sort out the fight for the lead because unless there's a problem for Mason, Ludby just can't get past these two quick enough. He finally gets past one of them. Now he'll get the second into the uh, Sue McClellan real estate sweeper. Onto Wynnum Haulage they go. Leaders already getting into chaos karting. The hill on the front straight away. Mason goes up. Lewis and George and Ludby go up. Shearsmith, Thornton, Coleman. Then the captain, Kreshmere. There he is. Oh, Lewis! Lewis, is that a problem? Lewis is back behind. Wherever that happened, I'm not sure. But that really has put the cat amongst the pigeons. Sam Lewis must have made a mistake. He was leading, remember? But now Stephen George has got him back. And now George getting away from him. Does Sam Lewis have a problem? Kreshmere goes past Lockie Shearsmith. So does 
George, and still Sam Lewis is struggling. He has an issue for sure. Sam Lewis has got a problem. Performance medium car leader, Stephen George, is getting away from Sam Lewis, who at the moment looks a little bit distraught. He is not a happy chappy. Mason still leads it, and here he comes. Peter Mason goes wide around Lockie Shearsmith. Now he's coming up to the back of, guess who, Sam Lewis. Fourth place cart on track, who in turn is about to catch Arnie Crespi, the captain. And Sam Lewis hanging on, but I think Stephen George is gone. Stephen George is getting away for sure. And I think that could be curtains for Sam Lewis, unless he can really pull something out of the bag. Sam Lewis this time. 27.07, oh, he's struggling. Sam Lewis has got a big problem. Two seconds off the pace. Stephen George is getting away from him. Sam Lewis has a massive drama. Stephen George is getting away and hanging on in there. Sam Lewis getting passed by everybody. The cart is almost stopping. Even Arnie's gonna get it back. Arnie's coming back at him. Oh no, he must be destroyed with this as Sam Lewis is almost grinding to a halt. And it's only half race distance. They're all getting back past Lewis. Oh, he will be absolutely distraught underneath that helmet. And he's pulled off, he's gone. Sam Lewis is gone. He's retired. The cart's stopping and he's gone. Oh no. Sam Lewis going back out, is he? Yes, he is. And that's a smoking Lockie Shearsmith. So there's a problem for the number eight. Lockie Shearsmith. Could have a drama on his hands here. Sam Lewis, oh, now he's back up to speed. But I think, will it be enough to get the win for the day? And again, Thornton and Shearsmith getting it on for us. Thornton then, looking to go around the outside, suicide. Oh, doesn't, stays where he is. Back towards us, they'll come. Still plenty of laps, that's half race distance now. Thornton. Holds on, oh he goes through. Al Shearsmith, passed once more. Thornton gets him. Now they head into the skid pan. Thornton holding. And Sam Lewis is gonna have to try and unlap himself from that man there, who is just about to get passed by guess who? Peter Mason once more. He's going to race the 29 laps. So Peter Mason really is hammering and going past him like a night through butter. Thornton, Shearsmith, still battling. Here they go, through double apex onto Chaos Karting, up they come into the Sue McClellan. Right hand sweeper over the blind, broad blind right hand sweeper. Right over that crest. Still Thornton from Shearsmith. And they'll go into the skid path. Shearsmith. Right with him, right with him. Thornton holds. Still Thornton holds. Following them. Mason. Then the leader in the mediums. George. There is Smoking Joe himself, Lockie Shearsmith. That car putting out all blue smoke. Is Sam Lewis back up to speed? Not quite sure he is. Not getting away from Arnie Kretschmere, so Sam Lewis, he is indeed still off the pace. 27 seconds, 26, eight that time. Still struggling for pace is Sam Lewis. Not quite sure what it is that's gone wrong. But Sam Lewis, 
has had one big problem in this one. That's been the cart, and it is still not right. Lewis continues, but he's languishing down in seventh on track. Third in the mediums. Second is this man, Thornton, who's having a cracker race. He's just been passed by Peter Mason, but Shearsmith gets him as well. Again, the pair of them having a cracker of a race. And still they continue on lap number 33. 34 completed now by Mason. Shearsmith holds. Thornton gets him again. Boy, oh boy, this is lap after lap. The pair of them again. Shearsmith goes through. Thornton cannot do anything about that down the hill. And Shearsmith keeps getting him down there. And then he looks over the shoulder and gets it on the outside server side. Thornton went round the outside. Shearsmith can only watch in amazement. And they continue. Into the skid path. Behind them there is George. Stephen George hanging on in there. Thornton, the number five behind him. Smith with Thornton, then Coleman, then Lewis, then the captain, Arnie Kretschmere, who we follow now. Lockie Shearsmith is 24 laps in and clearly has a drama with that cart. Arnie then about to get the Thornton treatment. P4 and second in the mediums at the moment. Only Stephen George is in front of him. And he continues the battle, but now he's got a bit of a gap between him and Shearsmith of three carts, now two. Ludby and George are between them, and now George just whizzes through on the inside. Now there's just Ludby between Thornton and Shearsmith. They've had this before, and it didn't make any difference because by the end of the race, they were together once more. Up the hill they come, Ludby goes through on Thornton, follows George, Stephen now, well look where he is, just feathers it through into the Wynnum Hall in Chicane, now they head down to the bottom of the hill and the double apex right hander up onto Chaos Karting, now he tells him to go on the inside and Stephen George cleverly lets Ludby through. Marcus then, oh, he could have got him back then. He had the speed, but he allowed him to continue. He knows he's got a faster car. Now he'll try and stay with him. Thornton then, once again, has Shearsmith for company. It is still Mason, Ludby, George, Thornton, Shearsmith, Coleman, Lewis, Kreshmere, Lockie Shearsmith, I think has finally stopped. And there may have been a problem with the number eight cart because it was smoking. So there could have been a bit of an issue with it. Peter Mason continues. Ludby has a seven second gap to try to bridge. And it looks like, there yeah, it was. Stephen George goes past poor old Sam Lewis. And he's about to get caught once again by Thornton. So Sam Lewis just can't take a trick in this one. They are 42 laps in. Next up will be 43 and getting mighty, mighty close to 10 laps remaining. Thornton then goes through on Sam Lewis. Yes, he does. Once again, puts a cart between himself and Alan Shearsmith, but Al will still try and get back at him. On they go, onto Chaos Karting now, back up the hill they'll come. Thornton looks over the right shoulder to see where he is. He won't have seen him that time, but he will if he looks again, because he's got to pass Sam Lewis. And Thornton still holds on, but Shearsmith now right on his bumper, in front of them. Stephen George is hanging on in there, but I'll tell you what, 
There's not much between them. Let's check on the time. Thornton does. 26-2. Or oh, 26-5. 26-0. Half a second quicker. Shearsmith goes to on Thornton. Thornton wants to get to George. Oh no, he was catching him too. 10 laps remaining. Can Thornton get to Stephen George? Somebody needs to give him the hurry up. Because Thornton's coming after him. The more he battles though, the slower he'll get. Shearsmith does a 25-7 on lap number 43. His quickest lap of the race. Alan Shearsmith puts an absolute cracker in on lap number 43. I kid you not. His quickest lap of the race. And guess what? Thornton's just left him for dead. Wow. On they continue. Thornton, though. Not sure he's going to be catching. George, I think Stephen's got this. Where is Peter Mason? There he is. Peter Mason in the twin sutter has got this in the bag. And now he will start lap number 49 because that is 48 completed. Peter Mason then on 49. Heads over Sue McClellan, real estate sweeper. Round he goes through the Wyndham Hall in chicane. Breezes up to the back of Sam Lewis. Sam will not hold him back. He will just slot it up the inside up the hill of chaos karting. And he is looking more and more comfortable. 24.430 is his quickest lap time. And he's got five to go. Five laps remaining for Peter Mason. Ludby has done everything he could to try and hang on. And as we go with a lap with Tommy Ludby, he just couldn't get past the back mark. He's taking a foot off the, uh, the brake there, not quite sure why. He's putting a foot up like uh, a big thank you or something. Not quite sure what he's doing, but the foot was off in the air. Almost did the heel clicker, but not quite. Ludby though continues. They will now start lap number 52. Arnie Kresmeer is heading down into the double apex. Back up towards me, he comes. Right with him is young Coleman. And Coleman goes through, as does Stephen George. Oh, Coleman, they are in front of him. And he goes through. Oh, Walker! Marky Walker's back out! We got Marky, whatever the problem was, he's back out on track. And Peter Mason doesn't need to worry about him being there because he's way out in front and I'm sure he knows that. What's he shaking his fist for? He's miles out in front. He doesn't need to worry. He's not going to stop you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not quite sure why he's shaking his fist. <laughs> on they continue this is lap number 54 the white flag is on and Mark lets him through so this time he says thank you instead of shaking the fist white flag one to go for Peter Mesa one to go for Tommy Ludby everybody else will be on the last lap now as well as Ludby goes through so it is Performance singles, performance twins, unrestricted race two. Give it up for the twin winner, Peter Mason, fist palm. Second, Tommy Ludby. In the mediums, give it up for Stephen George. Takes the win. Second, Thornton. Third, Sam Lewis. Fourth, Arnie Kreshmere. And in the heavies, the win, Alan Shearsmith. Second was Coleman. Third was Bl well, Blackman didn't start, sorry. So well done to uh, Coleman. Getting a second place in the heavies. Well done to them all.